This program is proudly sponsored by Amiga Foods. In Greece, our traditions are passed down through the generations. We learn about the important things in life. Respect for family and a passion for food. In Australia, my home, we keep these traditions alive. <laughs> That's unbelievable! Meet adorable characters and witness their migration stories, driven by struggle, love and gratitude. You bring here your sister, we can marry. Norma Carreo. Share experiences, culture and the secrets of our traditional recipes. Join us at the dinner table and enjoy It's All Greek to Me. My name is George and this is Galimnos Pastries, which has been a part of my life for more than 20 years. I make everything the traditional way that I learned from my grandfather and two uncles. And this is where the food journey started for me in 1995, Galimnos. Since the 1800s, Greeks have migrated to Australia seeking prosperity and a new life. Over the next six weeks, we're going to meet some of those Greeks. Yes, our food is important. We'll cook their traditional family recipes and hear their amazing stories. Yeah. See, I didn't even know these stories. And we'll eat and eat. You know what? And we'll eat some more. In this episode of It's All Greek to Me, I'm going to tell you my story. This is the family home where I grew up. So let's go inside so you can meet my mum and dad. Come on. How are you going? Tonight we're having a gathering of about 50 close family and friends. So I'm here to lend a hand and to spend some time cooking in the kitchen with my mum. I grew up in Kalimnos. It's a lovely island. My father, when I was five years old, went to Australia, to Sydney actually, and because he had five kids, was a enough the money to, to feed all of us. My father didn't stay long to Sydney, it's only 10 months. And uh, when he came, my grandfather gave the shop to my father. And after I said to my father, I want to study. But he said, no, you're not going anywhere. So I was stuck in the shop working. And I was the oldest uh, of the sisters. I, I've got another two younger sisters and uh, two brothers. I had to cook for them, so I started cooking, and that's why I love so much cooking, and I can be in the kitchen all day. I love it, you know? One of my fondest memories growing up is arni muri, okay? Arni is basically lamb. We're gonna cook the muri for our guests in our traditional wood oven that my grandfather built back in the day. Dad lights it using newspaper and wood. It takes about one and a half to two hours to warm up. When the inside of the walls turn white, it means that there's enough heat in the bricks for us to start cooking. We've got the lamb over here. We're gonna prepare the stuffing. Yeah. Hello, let's, let's do it. Okay. Put a large pot of water on for the rice. While it's coming to the boil, we melt butter in the pan and add chopped onion. When that's caramelized, we brown the beef mince. While that's cooking, the water's come to a boil and we add about two kilos of rice. The mince is seasoned with a mixture of G-fresh salt, pepper and cinnamon. Some ground cinnamon here. Add some cinnamon to the rice and when the meat's browned, mix it into the rice and water. After the break, we stuff the lamb with meat. Yeah, that's right, stuffing lamb with meat <laughs> and a little bit of rice. We have a whole piece of lamb that we've cut down the middle and rubbed inside and out with a mixture of salt, pepper and cinnamon. Now we stuff the lamb cavity with the rice mixture and sew the sides together to seal it. So we want to hold it together otherwise it's going to burn because we're going to slow cook this for about eight hours in the oven. Yes, you're <laughs> ready. So we put that in here, put a bit of water over the top. I'll bring the paper, the bakey. And now we've got some greaseproof paper which we're going to put over the top and then line it with foil 
so that we seal it in so that all the heat stays in there. To the side of the oven now, clear the full area. Dad moves the ashes to the side, ready to put the lamb in. My father learnt these traditions from his father. Beautiful one, huh? One day going to give him my certificate. When we've put the lamb inside, we close the door and seal it shut with bricks and mud. The bricks retain the heat and cool gradually, cooking the lamb very slowly over a period of eight to 10 hours. I'm from the island of Kalimnos. I was born there. We lived right next door to the Church of St. Nicholas, and uh, the church had a lot to do with my uh, life. Every time I heard the bell go, because over there the bells ring at every uh, service, whether it was a funeral, whether it was a wedding, whether it was a christening, or just a normal church service, I was there. I lived there up to the age of 11, when we as a family migrated to Australia. It was uh, sad to leave grandparents behind, and uh, I know I promised my uh, grandmother and my grandfather that uh, a maximum of three years and I'll be back. And when we came to Australia, I used to write a letter perhaps at least once a month to them say, just have patience, in three years time I shall be back. Now it's 59 years time later and I'm still here. <laughs> Late 1970, I took 12 months off from work to go for a holiday overseas, back to Calumans. I used to go and visit my uncle's shop every morning and stay there with him for a good part of the morning. And it just so happened that uh, Poppy used to walk past the shop once a day, around about nine o'clock, I suppose. And uh, after a few days of seeing her, I said to myself, she's it. Well done, my husband. <laughs> George was born nine months and one day after we got married. Yeah. <laughs> now, if that doesn't give you enough information. <laughs> when we come back, we'll meet a Greek who is seriously breaking with tradition. Everyone will be arriving soon, and it's time to take the lamb out of the oven. We remove the bricks and mud and take out this perfectly cooked moody. Family gathering is a very important part of life. Uh, and we're looking for a reason to get <laughs> together. together. Yeah. Yes, we always have something so, here. Yeah, there's definitely a gathering on your birthdays, there's yeah. definitely a gathering on your name days. Christmas. There's a gathering for any other reason that we can think of. That's why we're like this. <laughs> and <you go. laughs> Us Greeks, we love our lamb. Some of our most famous Greeks are actually vegetarian. In the movie, My Big Fat Greek Wedding, Tula marries a vegetarian. In real life, Tula used to be a vegetarian for about 11 years until her family wore her down. That's a true story. Here, eat some rice. I don't want to I'm good here, I'm good. You know I'm good? I could slap you like a chicken. Hi, Nia, how are you? My name's George Duncan Michalis, okay. and we talk about the migration stories of Greeks from all over the world, how they go around. And one of the things that we hold really dear to our heart is our food. Yes, our food is important. What I'd love to ask you is, can you cook traditional Greek food? And yes. if you do, uh -huh. what's the one thing that you cook that your family absolutely loves that you do? Oh, that's super nice. My family loves my vegetarian moussaka. It's surprising. Vegetarian? Does I that mean it's got lamb in it? Or? It's, yeah, it's just lamb. <laughs> Have you got a dessert that you cook and you enjoy? I do love making lukumadas, but I don't have a deep fryer, so I borrow my Thea's. Yes. But at my family, what we do is we eat to the point of like just it's here, and then we all lay around on the floor and make each other laugh until someone goes, let's have dessert. That's, that's fair enough. There's always that room for that dessert. Yeah. I'd love to know, your husband Ian, coming into a, a Greek family, yeah. can you tell me what it is that he would probably say that he loves the most about coming into your Greek family? He never leaves my parents' house hungry. Okay, go. Ian, are you hungry? Uh, no, I already ate. Okay, I'll make you something. Okay. 
never leaves without several gifts. You know, they will take <laughs> off a painting from their wall and give it to us. And he is always astonished that there is yet another cousin that he's like, oh, no, 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 you've never met this cousin. Oh. And there's yet another relative coming from somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. Absolutely beautiful. Look, thank you so much. And I do really do wish you all the very best in life. Thank you. Now, guys, we've heard Nia say that vegetarian moussaka is actually her favorite dish. That doesn't make any sense to me because I've got a Greek background and I love my meat sauce. But I've got a mate of mine, Nicole, here, who's a chef and he backs himself a bit. I can so cook. He, you can cook? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, you reckon you Just can a bit. cook? Can you cook as good as my mum, though? That's no. what I want to know. No. no. No one cooks as good as mum. That's the answer. No. I think my mum wanted to hear as well. Well, welcome to mum's kitchen. Well, mate. thank you very much. Thank you for bringing me to this state of, state of the art kitchen. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm privileged to be here. Uh, now, mate, listen, vegetarian moussaka. Yes. Let's, let's go through it. All right. Um, eggplant and potato. Put them on baking trays, extra virgin olive oil. Fantastic. Back it in the oven. These are the ones we prepared earlier, as Nico just said. Well done. What's next, man? Next is the red sauce. Let's get on with the red sauce. Nyakara. Perfect. Let's do it, man. Let's go. Okay. I'm starving. <laughs> okay, all right. Here we go. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Yeah, you need to blow. Oh, there That's it is. It. This is. I, I'll let you do that so I didn't burn the hairs on my fingers, mate. This wasn't on the con in the contract. <laughs> Olive oil. Let's Here's go. Here's some oil. Ella. Yep, thank you. Yes. Yes, right. you know what Onions, to do. Onions, mate. Ella, Ella, mate. Bit of right. uh, capsicum. Chopped up capsicum. Perfect. Perfect. What's that? We're going to put yeah. some mushrooms in Absolutely. here as well, mate. Give us a bit of a stir and then... Some zucchini, champ. Fantastic. Adde. Exactly. Adde. And I think the carrots are next. Garoto. Bit of sweetness. Beautiful. Are We're going to saute bit? this a little bit. Now. And then maybe some, uh, maybe the paste now. So we can oh, fry nice. it off a bit. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> Okay, we'll you know, get it right, we'll get it right. Well, we're going to put our tomato in and let it sit. You can, the smell is really, really starting to come through. It's fantastic. Oh, yeah. Let it simmer for how long, mate? Probably around what? 40 minutes? Okay, <laughs> bechamel. Butter. <laughs> melt, melt the butter. Okay. Okay. And then flour. Lovely. Hello. Okay, off we go. And what we're making now is what's we called a roux. We can make yeah, this. We can, we can make this work. <laughs> cook it, cook it up. Um, 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 uh, milk. Let's go. Milk. Gala. Look, I, I, I was hurrying because I wanted to impress you I with know, this. Look at this. He this brought it, he brought that in on his head. <laughs> How much do you want me to pour in there? Oh, you know? just a little bit at a time, okay. I guess. Excuse me. Yeah. Okay. This is basic old school. Yeah, this is the this way is... our grandmothers used to make it, I guess. Yeah, it's get it done because we've got to do the washing, the ironing, the cleaning, <laughs> and then cook again. And then do the lawns. And then do and the lawns. Come back yeah, in. The edges. <laughs> it started to thicken up, up, as you can see, a little bit. Look at this ribbon. Look at this. Perfect. See that? And now it's coming together nicely. Yeah. Eggs. Do we add any eggs or uh -huh. not? Aha. <laughs> Aha. Uh -huh. You add eggs. It, Greeks add eggs in the bechamel. I oh, know. Is that it's like a souffle. Is that because there's a lot of chickens, back? we don't know what to do with them. <laughs> okay. Just put eggs done, in there. Done. Okay. One right there, there for you, mate. A little bit of a, just stir it in there. Let's go. Let's get right. this moussaka happening, please. Okay, let's do it quick. Please. All right. Okay. <laughs> Oil. Okay. As if we haven't had enough. Here we go. Okay, Help a bit me. of breadcrumb. Well, just to absorb any Excess. Any any excess fluids. Okay. All right. Potatoes. A lot of potatoes. Okay. We're going with the potatoes. Yeah. Let's do? put some flavors in between every layer. Let's go. It. Put Love some it. sauce on there. How's that? Oh, 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 oh. Make, make you happy. happy. Okay. That's it. Let's and then we'll layer some sauce okay. over that. Brilliant, man. Okay. That's layered. So now let's layer a few melisandres. Let me grab a few here. We can put a little layer of sauce if you want, and then put what the rest of the of the uh, eggplant on top of that. Why not? Give it even more, some more flavour. Just half of what you've got yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. Layer it on. Or this there. Now what do we do, man? Cheese. Put mate, some cheese on. Well, what cheese? Some, some mizithra. We mizithra. said it. Some mizithra. Yeah, mizithra. Now, let's go. Beautiful. Bechamel time? Bechamel time. Let's go. Time. Let's do it. With the eggs. All With right. the eggs. <laughs> okay. Can you see there, Nicole? Yeah, I can see. Can you can spread that? I can that? see. Jesus, this is, this has turned out really well. The Freshly ground done. nutmeg with, with Fantastic. done earlier. Okay, breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs. All right. All right. Enough. 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 Okay. 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 Now, right. in the oven. What's in the oven. Uh, 180, half an hour to 40 minutes, depending on your oven. Okay. okay. Don't tell me we're going back there again. No, we are. No, <laughs> no, we're, <laughs> we're going. No, not back here again. Ella. Ella. All right. Ella, okay. Ella. Quick. <laughs> Put it in. All right. That's it. 
Alto, ela stopwatch done. <laughs>Taste test time, oh, no. vegetarian moussaka. You're reluctant, aren't you? <laughs> You're reluctant mate, to try it. The taste will tell. The taste is going to tell. Just try it. It's it, laid beautifully. It, mate, it cuts beautifully. beautifully. Hang on, let's have a look. Another one. Oh. <laughs> Man. That's, that's actually, surprising. That's actually, mate, that's actually <laughs> very, very nice. Mm, I didn't expect it to be this Moussaka minus good. the meat. That's pretty oh, good, I mean, Oregon. Uh, <laughs> you got it. Sorry. Yeah. There's always room for dessert, and after the break, Mum and I whip up a galak to buriko. As our family and friends start to arrive, Mum and I go back into the kitchen to create a special treat. Great Greek family gathering is nothing without the dessert, but uh, one of the favourites that we're going to show you how to make now is a galak to buriko. Yes. Um, let's, let's start yes. by adding the semolina. Yeah. Of sugar, yeah. just for the flavours there, vanilla sugar, a couple of eggs. Some milk. And we've got about a litre of milk. We'll mix yeah. it together. Thank you. Yeah, hara. Okay. Now, the peramamela. Yes. Over here, we've got the remaining bit of milk. We heat the milk up, bring that over, and we'll just keep mixing. Mum, I'll get you to mix that. Right. Beautiful. That's come to a boil now. Right. And now we can turn that off. Yeah. Okay, here we've got the custard. It's been cooling for about 20, 25 minutes, and that's ready for us to work with. We basically will butter the base of this tray over here. Okay. Then I'm going to open the piping bag. Open it up, get a little bit of this custard. Yeah. Now my mum is going to butter the phyllo pastry. Now along over here, we'll do a nice row, nice thick row of galakta buriko there, custard. Then we get two layers of phyllo pastry. Start rolling it over. Basically we'll put this around and we're going to start working it around. The beauty of this style of galakta buriko, as soon as it comes out of the oven, you can actually cut it and serve it up straight away. We'll put this in here. Okay, we'll put and butter on top. We'll butter it on top. Yep. We we'll put it in the oven at 175 degrees for about 45 to 50 minutes. We take it out and then we okay. pour the ready syrup that we've got on there. Good. You might have thought I was joking about small family gatherings having about 50 people, but it's true. You have to invite the cousins and then you've got to invite the neighbours then you've got to invite the friends of the neighbours and then you've got to invite the friends of the neighbours dog's vet. Ah! It's never ending! Okay, it's crazy here at the moment. Outside, people are coming. My mum my mother-in-law are here setting up everything. Well, and what we've got, the galak is ready to come out of the oven. So all I need to do is syrup it. So if we come over here, excuse me, I'm there for a sec. Bring it out of the oven. Set it up. Put it over here. And now what we might do is just get a knife. It's puffed up beautifully. So I'll just push that down a little bit. That's ready. And now, because it's been set up as a roll, as you can see, we're working around, we're doing everything. We're setting up to feed everyone. We've got the syrup that's been pre-prepared. I'm gonna slowly pour that over the top. Oh, sorry. Oh, we're gonna go out now. We're gonna go out now and enjoy this with everybody. This is the final piece of the jigsaw puzzle. We've got the, the muri that's been put in the centre. As you can see, a big variety. Small piece, lots of people. It's time now to eat. So, everybody, a latte! Us Greeks are very proud of the influence our language has had on the world. But boy, we've made it difficult to pronounce some of our desserts. Galactoburico. Gal Galactoburico. Galactoburico. How do you say? Galactoburico. And it's delicious. Gala. Gala. Galactoburico. Gala. 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 Gala.
Gallato burico. My favorite dessert. George makes them a lot. And they're very popular. What's that one called? Yeah, that's Greek custard and pastry. <laughs> How do you say? Every woman can afford this. <laughs> I hope you've all enjoyed meeting my family. We've met my mum, my dad. We cook together. We produce some beautiful stuff. And now here we are. We've got the family and friends sitting back here. This is what life's all about. Look forward to seeing you next time. All ingredients in today's episode can be found at Amiga Foods and major supermarkets.